Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I am here with my candle wax melt empties for February. And yes, March 1st is here already. And um, just like last year, uh, I swear 20 and 20, 2023 felt like it only lasted six months. Uh, the time just flies by. Um, so yeah, March already. So I did get through uh, quite a decent amount of wax this month, actually. There was a lot that were kind of half empty, kind of laying around, and I just wanted to get them used up. So I'll start with the candles, and I'll start with a couple of um, old Yankees that I had. And yeah, these were just kind of half burned, so I thought I'm going to just finish these up. And the first one was Yankee Candles Fig and Clove, and this is from their Elevation line. And it kind of burned itself out and uh, never left a lot of wax, these Elevation Candles. Uh, this was a uh, two wick and um, it actually burned pretty good. There's a little bit clinging to the sides there. Uh, just at, at the top there, there's a couple of corners that took quite a while to pull out. Um, but once they got down a little bit, uh, then there's no issues with the burn. And this, I didn't get the clove, unfortunately, with this one. I love clove scents, um, but I did get that definite, definite fig scent. And um, it had a pretty good throw. I would say about a 7 out of 10. And I really enjoyed these Elevation uh, candles. Uh, the My favorite was the Pumpkin Ginger candle and I actually have two of them left and it's such a strong throw just such a delicious uh, scent so yeah these were um, I was pretty happy with the majority of the elevation candles I did get there were some hit and misses with the scent throws but um, they were pretty good and another Yankee candle this is from their Simply Home line and again I had a pretty good luck with this particular line I did get this um, in winters or home scents. I don't think I've seen a Yankee candle in forever in those those stores. I haven't even bought a candle from like TJ uh, TJ Maxx, Winners, Home Sense for ages. Um, yeah, the prices are just getting ridiculous for everything. Uh, so this is um, cranberry zest, and uh, yeah, this one was poured quite a while ago. Like uh, I think. 2011 or something like that but this um again the simply home i had pretty good luck with it there was maybe one or two that didn't have the best throw but uh, most of them were decent throwers actually and this one it has like a throw of about eight out of ten i had another christmas candle i just can't remember what it was called under the simply home line and it just filled up the house so um but hit and miss like any company. But this cranberry zest was a very sweet, yummy uh, cranberry. Um, it shows some oranges on the front there and some, maybe some citrus, but I just got that sweet cranberry. And again, uh, the widest part of the candle, it had a little bit of problems pulling out. And then once it was kind of past that stage, it, it was lovely. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed that one. And this is, oh, okay, this one went to uh, Candle Prison. Um, the throw was a bit off. Uh, the smell was a bit off. Um, so it went to Candle Prison. And that is Bath & Body Works Banana Bundt Cake. And I actually really do like banana scents. This is a sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. This smelled exactly like um, banana bread. And uh, unfortunately... Um, uh, the wax turned a bit brown and had started getting a smoky smell maybe about halfway through and um, before it was just like straight up just banana bread and then I got that smokiness to it which I didn't really like and I had to cotton ball it so I finally just threw it in the um, into candle prison aka the candle crock and it, it it actually still had a little bit of a smoky scent, even with the candle crock there too. So it's kind of disappointing because I, I love this scent. Um, I love banana bread scents. So that one was disappointing. And this is uh, Cocoa Roasted Chestnuts, just from this uh, winter time. And I really did love the label. 
And uh, this is Rosa Chestnuts Cocoa Powder and Vanilla Woods. So uh, this did have a nutty scent to it. And I also did pick up a light chocolate um, note in there like melt chocolate not like the dark chocolate or anything like that um, but I wouldn't say it smelled like chestnuts it, it did have a nutty scent but not chestnuts uh, roasted chestnuts Bath and Body not Bath and Body Works Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals have an amazing roasted chestnut scent and I just purchased some more from Better Homes and Gardens such a good chestnut scent but this is just a, a light nutty light chocolate scent a little bit perfumey um so yeah uh it was about a six seven out of ten throw the burn if i remember correctly was okay there was no issues um but yeah i i didn't love it um I don't think I'd purchase it again. It wasn't terrible. I just um, didn't wow me too much. Uh, the, but that label is a really, really gorgeous. And this is a uh, cozy Sunday night. And yeah, I love the work, woodwork pattern. Uh, this is warm cinnamon, crystallized ginger, and vanilla bean. Um, yeah, it was, whoops, just a, um, I got more cinnamon than anything. I didn't really pick up too much of the ginger. Uh, I put this in the kitchen, which needs a powerhouse, and it was just like a, maybe not quite a medium. So it did do better in a smaller room. Um, but yeah, I do like vanilla scents. Um, I mean, it wasn't anything new or new and uh, different, but... Yeah, it was, it was a, a cozy little scent. And I believe that burned okay, if I remember correctly. And this is apricot and green fig. And actually the color of the wax was the color of my shirt, which was kind of pretty cool. Uh, apricot, sandalwood, lush fig, and creamy coconut. Oh, I can't smell it anymore. Got rid of all the wax here. But yeah, I really like this one. It reminded me of um, that uh, wine fragrance they had. Uh, oh, what was it now? Just hit, I just hit, hit a blank here. <laughs> uh, years ago during their French Pro Provence line where they did the, um, the wine line. Ugh. Anyway right on the tip of my brain but it does remind me of that anyhow so um i did get the, the a fruity scent and it was almost like a kind of a a wine kind of vibe to it um i really enjoyed this one i did get um i do have a backup and i was wanting to get some more during the sas but i never showed up at the sas so i don't think they had it anyhow uh, but i was hoping they'd have more of these so hopefully it'll come out i'm sure it'll be come out in a different name um but i hope they do bring it out again um i, I really enjoyed this one and it was a very good burn and actually it was a very a very good throw and this is uh cedar and suede and this is Soft Cedar Warm Incense and Velvety Suede. Oh, I really enjoyed this one. Um, no issues with the burn. Very good throw, about 8 out of 10. I got the cedar more than anything. That kind of dominated it. A uh, little bit of the suede to soften it up in the background. But I really, really enjoyed this one. So that would definitely be a repurchase for me. And then I got a pile of wax melts here. Alrighty, uh, so um, vendor wise, this is Teddy B's Wax Company. I got this from another subscriber. I heart vanilla spiced apples, and I just have this finishing up in my office. And it's such a good uh, sugary apple scent. It says spiced, I don't get any spiced spices per se it's just like a sugary apple and a pretty decent throw maybe six or seven or so and very long lasting and yeah i really like that one 
And this is Phantom of the Mind by Ella After Wax. And this one is Vanilla Cranberry Peaches and Earl Grey Tea. Ah, so, um, I, I just got a very light, fruity scent with this one. Um, I wouldn't even say it really was distinctly cranberry. It was just a light, fruity scent. I didn't get the peaches. Earl Grey tea I didn't get either. It was just a, a light, fruity kind of scent. Um, just a light throw. Um, yeah, Earl Grey tea. I love the smell of Earl Grey tea. Sometimes I'll just open up a, a little package of my Earl Grey and just sit there and sniff it. I just love Earl Grey tea scents. I think Goose Creek has one that has uh, bergamot and tea in it. And of course, Earl Grey tea is from bergamot. So um, yeah, I might order that once it goes on sale to see if it actually smells like Earl Grey tea. If you know which one I'm talking about, let me know. And if it actually does smell like Earl Grey tea, um, I just love that scent. And this is Cotton Grass by Sensationals. And this was in the bathrooms, just a nice, clean laundry scent. Not overly harsh or astringent. Just a nice, soft, perfumey laundry scent. And I do like my laundry scents. And this is Red Hot Cinnamon. And I just, I like cinnamon scents. Um, uh, I prefer earthy over red hot, but I like both. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but I kind of prefer earthy ones. Um, yeah, I just find them warm and comforting. And this had a very good throw, and um, I did mix it with some peppermint scents and uh, sometimes some evergreen scents, so it's a good little mixer. And this is Fresh Daisy and Lemon by Sensationals. And... I think uh, I think the prominent note, if I can remember, because this this was a whole month ago. I can't remember that much. Okay, um, the lemon might have been a little more prominent, but it wasn't overly in your face lemon. And then maybe in like in second place was the kind of floral note to it. So yeah, I, I did um, melt this in uh, the the bathroom, and yeah, it was just uh, clean, fresh. A uh, little stronger than a medium throw with that one. And then, um, oh, this is Up the Creek by, uh, sorry, <laughs> the Butter Mint Strawberry Pound Cake by Up the Creek. And yeah, um, I was sent quite a few of these um, mint ones because I do love mint scents. And yeah, this one, it was just so yummy. It was strong. And yeah, I just love my peppermint scents. Oh, this one, okay, this one's a powerhouse. This is Yankee Candles uh, Christmas Celebration in their centerpiece. And oh my gosh, this thing is so strong and so long lasting. This thing sinks into the pores of your house. Um, and the scent notes on this are black cherry, raspberry, eucalyptus, chocolate, fir, toffee, cedar, and vanilla. <laughs> So yeah, it is, it's just a real mix in here. And oh my gosh, it's so strong. Um, I get the black cherry, I get a little bit of the eucalyptus, I get the chocolate, I get a little bit of the fur, I get some toffee. It's just, um, it's wild, this one. <laughs> it's very strong. So um, I would not suggest a small room or you'll be choked right out. Um, it's probably do much better in a large open area because it's it's potent and uh yeah a lot of those scent notes you're like whoa and it is it's 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 quite the scent um yeah the black i would say the black cherry and the raspberry and the chocolate are really dominant and then you get like the fur and toffee yeah this one is just it's it's I, I love it. I actually got a couple backups before the Yankee clothes. But yeah, it's not for everyone because it's it's potent. And this is uh, Brown Butter by Sensationals. Uh, this is such a yummy scent. It does smell like you're walking into the house and someone's melting some brown sugar and butter on the stove there. Um, long lasting and very strong. And then some other... Yankees. Uh, this is their Wax Melt Singles Warm Luxe Cashmere. 
Yeah, I've always really loved this one. It is, oh, it's so warm and soft. It's like a cozy sweater that just came out of the dryer. Oh, it's just a beautiful scent. And there's a little bit of perfume. It's not so much like, uh, like a laundry scent. It's more like a, well, a perfumey laundry scent that's very cozy. Uh, I, I just love that one. And, and that one still has a pretty decent throw. This is Icy Blue Spruce by Yankee. And yeah, they've always done their um, evergreen scents so well, the Yankee. Now this one was a bit light though. Um, even in the, in the bathroom, I kind of struggled with that one. And this is Cozy Cabin Escape. And this is actually kind of a woodsy coffee scent. Yeah, I get, I get vanilla, I get a little bit of woods, I get just a little bit of a coffee scent in there. But um, this one was light. I think it's just getting old, this one at this point. Um, because I remember having it a couple years ago and it was stronger. And, oh yeah, I still have some of these um, Yankee wax melts left. I'm kind of going through my stash, trying to get rid of some of these really old ones. And this is uh, Sugared Apple by Yankee. Probably the best sugared apple going. Um, I just absolutely love this one. This one is, st I don't know how old this thing is, but it's still going strong. Um, I just put like half a cube into a small room and it uh, just filled it up. But such a yummy scent. And this is Oat Soft Blanket by Yankee. Just a beautiful, beautiful, comforting, soft, cozy scent. Oh, this one is uh, one of the best laundry scents I've ever smelled. It's just so soft and cozy. And this is by Destination, Destination Wax. This is Iced Vanilla Woods. And this is a uh, clean clone type lavender mellowed by vanilla and warm woods. Bath and Body Works type. Now this one was a little bit light. And I, I didn't get so much the lavender. Um, I got a kind of a perfumey vanilla scent with a hint of, just a hint of woods. But it was a little bit light. So it was kind of hard to get a good sense of that one. And, um, well, this is Lavender Snowfall by Goose Creek. And um, this is uh, lavender and, and peppermint. Now, I thought, yeah, this is like two strong personalities trying to get along with each other. Uh, it reminds me of when I'm working in the hospital and you get two strong personalities having a disagreement. I just, you know, grabbed a bag of popcorn and sat down and watched the show, basically. Um, because la like this is like an herbal lavender and a very bright peppermint. And I thought, man, oh man, like who's going to win this argument? Um, I, I think I would say the peppermint's a little more dominant than the lavender. Uh, but you can, you could pick up both of them. But yeah, it, 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 it did soften up, luckily, when it was melting. Um, but it, yeah, it's it's fairly strong. It wasn't as strong on melting as I thought it would be, but still strong enough, like about a 7. Um, but yeah, they, I actually was happy with it once it started melting. Um, uh, they did get along better when they were hot. Um, and then Meadow Showers by Yankee. Yeah, this one is one of my favorite Yankees. It's just clean, fresh. Some people uh, compare it to Irish Spring soap. I haven't had that in years. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a classic watery, greenery scent. And this one was actually still going strong. It was always strong in any form um, way back when. But um, yeah, that one was still performing okay. And then um, this one I'm just finishing up. Uh, Goose Creek's uh, Blueberry Cheesecake, and I love blueberry scents. I didn't get so much of the cheesecake, but it's definitely like a, like a blueberry um, jam kind of scent. It's almost creamy in a way, like a creamy kind of uh, blueberry. Um, 
put two cubes in kind of in between the kitchen and the dining room and um yeah it filled up those like the kitchen and, and into the dining room pretty pretty good actually so yeah that one was uh quite yummy and this is green juicy apple by fusion which is a sister company of sensationals i love green apple scents it's hard to come by them yeah, and this is just straight up green apple kind of scent. Yeah, it was it was pretty strong. Um, when it started to taper off, it got kind of real waxy kind of scent to it. Um, but yeah, when it was first melting, man, you get that green apple, strong green apple scent. And uh, this is Country Home Candle, which is located here in Ontario, Canada. Red wine and tobacco. And uh, this one is actually, um, is more of a, like a woodsy, earthy greenery scent. I didn't really pick up so much on the, the wine necessarily, but the tobacco plant is just kind of a rich, earthy kind of scent. But um, it wasn't overly strong, it was about a medium uh, throw but so I put it in the bathroom and it did fine uh, but it was actually fairly long lasting and oh this is another um, mint scent rosemary and mint from up the creek yeah the they do their peppermint their mint scents peppermint scents very very well uh, Celeste oh this was at the beginning of the month um it's kind of, it was like a, a watery floral note. I'm trying to think it was like fruity because it's hard to smell now. Yeah, it was just a, a watery floral. I, um, I put it in the bathroom. It was maybe a little stronger than a, a medium throw. I don't think I'd repurchase it. I mean, it didn't wow me or anything. And this is Leaves and Latte. Oh, I really like this one. It's not for everyone. That's by Sensationals. Uh, smoked vanilla and mahogany. I didn't write down the rest of the scent notes. But oh man, this is a, this is a powerhouse. You get the vanilla, um, you get a woodsy scent. The coffee scents, it's in there. I don't it's not a blatant kind of coffee scent. It just blends with the with the wood scent and the vanilla. But oh yeah, I really, really, really like that one. So good. And uh, Singapore Traveler, uh, this is from the Bon Voyage Sensational line. <clears throat> this was kind of just a watery um, clone, men's clone kind of scent. Yeah, it didn't really, didn't really do much for me. I didn't, didn't love it. And this is Eucalyptus Snow by Sensationals. And this is like eucalyptus and... Um, evergreen mixed together oh it's so refreshing it's crisp and clean I put just one cube in my bathroom and it lasts at least 48 hours just the one cube and it drifts out into my bedroom oh yeah and I actually did get two of these and I'm glad I got the the two um yeah that one was really really good so that's it that is my empties I did uh, actually pretty good um, this uh, this month so yeah I'm, I'm slowly getting into the um, more springtime greenery and herbal scents now um, because yeah this isn't hasn't been much of a winter here I know it's been quite a winter out east in that but yeah we haven't had much of a, a winter per se here um, and hopefully maybe tomorrow I'll uh, upload my book reviews. I actually got through seven books this month, which I was kind of surprised because I was kind of like scatterbrained and couldn't concentrate and my life depended on it. But I got through seven books and my slight book ban got shattered pretty quickly and, and I'll go over uh, some of those new books I got. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.